I'm Matt Karakis, and my dream tour would be, um, I'll say David Bowie, for one. Why? Because uh, he's a legend, right? Um, I just recently started listening to him a lot, which is, you know, it's just crazy how, like, everything, I mean, he's, how do I word this? Like, everything feels so new to me, you know? You've, like this like legend that's been around for so long he's dead now but just it just kind of feels like I, I got into him at a time where I was like starting everything was starting to feel like really mundane you know like everything I was writing I was like oh whatever like this is just something I would write three years ago you know and like listen to him just like open up this world and you know it was like the first time that you know since I was a kid I like when I was a kid I would listen to bands and like it was kind of more than just music. It was like these like people that like I looked up to, you know. I was just like, oh wow, like you know, Mud Van. <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna say a lot of new metal shit because when I was younger, that's what I was really into. I was like, man, these guys are crazy. Like, they're so cool, you know. I was like a huge Linkin Park fan. I was like, I want to be like Chester. I want the flame tattoos, you know. And and uh, you know, when you get older, and especially when you start touring, you start like meeting all these people, like. I feel like musicians become less like role models and more just like people that are just that exist and play music you know so like when I like got into David Bowie I was kind of just like oh wow like it just kind of like felt like I was a kid again you know and I'm like reading all these interviews I'm just kind of like really interested on the way in the way he like talks and his perception of things and it's just really cool you know um, second band be third eye blind um, I've loved Third Eye Blind forever. It stems from my dad. Um, there's a, I've, I'm from Lambertville, Michigan. I live in Toledo, Ohio now, and in Ohio we have a theme park called Cedar Point, which is like, I think it's voted number one theme park, amusement park in the world, still to this day. But, um, you know, my dad, when I was a kid, was obsessed with Cedar Point. He doesn't go now because he gets too sick, but, um, he would always take us to Cedar Point. It was like an hour and a half drive. And um, we would always listen to Out of the Vein by Third Eye Blind on repeat. Just, he would straight up just start it over. Boom, you know? So like, that record in particular is like really burned into my brain and um, and it holds up. I'll, I still put it on, you know? And, Hello. <laughs> I still put it on and um, yeah, so, you know, it just reminds me of being a kid again. I think nostalgia is a very powerful emotion, you know. Um, third third would be Slipknot because uh, <laughs> I love, I like love, so in general, um, I love like fantasy, not like, not like sci-fi, like alien shit, but I like monsters you know i just think it's cool and i'm like a huge mortal Kombat head and um so like when i was a kid i remember i was um watching mtv in canada at my great grandma's house and um left behind the video for the slipknot song came on and i used to sit with uh the vcr and record songs i like and then i would you know revisit and then beg my parents to buy the cd or you know or whatever later if i really liked it and um, I think I was alone or you know my grandpa was probably like sleeping in the other room or something but I felt like I was alone and um, this music video came on and I remember being genuinely shocked and scared you know I was like I was like kind of sitting there I was like do I like this do I like this do I like this no I'm scared and then I changed the channel you know and then um, and then I was like oh wow fuck that you know and then later on I heard the song Spit It Out by Slipknot and I was like, oh wow, I really like this. And then I started, and this is another scary story, I'm, it's like 4 a.m. I'm at my dad's house and um, I'm on the, on, it, on the computer like discovering Slipknot. I just, just was going through it. I'm like, oh wow. And then I pull up the music video for Spit It Out, which is like a, a spin, it's like a, you know, they like, uh, copy The Shining, the movie, like to do their own version of The Shining. And um, it was another thing where I was terrified of that movie. So I'm like, oh, I fucking love this band. This is so awesome. 
and then I'm like watching the music video and it like opens with the tricycle scene. And I'm like not processing what's happening, but I'm like, I know what this is. And I feel weirdly scared right now. You know, I'm like really young, like nine. And I'm like, I feel really scared, but I don't, can't quite put my finger on it. And then he turns the corner and there's like the two girl, like the children at the end of the hallway. And I was like, God, ah, I exited out real quick. It's like three in the morning, the door was open. There was a long hallway right behind me. I got up and shut the door and locked it. And then I like, you know, had to like revisit it the next day. And, um, but I didn't revisit that video, but I revisited more and you know, so it was just cool to me like seeing back then you didn't know what they looked like and when I was a kid and I liked all this like Mortal Kombat shit and like it was just like cool seeing these like monsters play like the mystique of it you know I just I thought they were monsters I didn't think of them as real people so Slipknot would be another one um four let's think um I'll say Paramore because who doesn't like Paramore and um Gabby plays bass for me and she's a huge Paramore fan um yeah she her like first email ever was like Paramore rocks as with a bunch of z's you know <laughs> so that would be another band and I really like I really like their new record after after last it's freaking awesome um and then fifth would be uh it would be an, it would be Queen because um I think there's no denying that my new record has Queen influence um, Everybody who listens could tell you that because I pretty much just jack all the all like the background vocals going on. I was just like, I've never done anything like that. I'm gonna do it. You know, just go for it. So it was it was like a pretty pretty much the same thing as the David Bowie thing. It's like, oh wow, like this is someone I feel like it's more than music to me. Like this is like so interesting and cool and you know. So I mean, I could over explain that again, but you know, I already did it with David Bowie. So Queen would be the fifth one for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm.